I kind of bored it here a little bit, just to skip up about a minute or so. Ink blots. Just one thing. Hmm? Oh, nothing. No. What? What were you going to say? Well, this is picture. What do you boys think of it? Oh, very original, that. It's a dog's bum with a hat on. No, mate. Look, it's your wife. My wife is not ugly. Yeah, talk to the peasant for some reason. Still here? That's the trouble with a feudal system, you see. Queuing means very little in the face of a stratified social structure. It's all a matter of social seniority. Seniority? Yeah, next time read the fine print of the social contract, that's what I say. I see your point. Where's the thief? I think he went to the shades. It's a thief thing. Yeah, all the other clues that said, go to the shades. And uh, finally, um, keys to guy, I had to do this to go into the shades. Where's the garbage yet? Chucky's dirty. Chucky, one bath! One bath! Practical criticism always speaks more loudly than words. Which is why this is no surprise. Chucky power, the power of love. Chucky power, Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. I was born for world domination, Chucky. Now they'll have to laugh. The comedy will be compulsory, spontaneous hilarity. We'll be timetable three times today. Everyone will laugh until they drop. A golden age, Chucky. A golden age. Oh, Chucky, 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 Chucky. Everything hell's mouth moves about being manipulated. Ah, good about the second game you really only took what you needed he close the door when he's done hope I don't not too sure why honestly yeah this post this puppy love custard Love custard number nine. Maybe I should name this video that. I mean, that reminds me. Am I on part feel?
every day right now. Uh, I was watching Shira a couple of years ago. There were like a lot of tentacle moments there. So I got four of the five. So I guess... I do so enjoy these colourful little suburbs, don't you? I was told this might be Big Sally's address. Can't imagine why that would interest you, big boy. Big boy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I shouldn't laugh. <laughs> what? Well, why? Well, you are wearing a dress. Look, it's not a dress. It's a wizard's robe. It looks like a dress. Well, it isn't. It's the costume of a very ancient and revered order of aesthetes. Are you run a lot, do you? You'd be amazed. Mind you, that's not surprising, going round this town wearing a dress. Madam, I don't like your inference. As a wizard, I am chaste. Walking round in a dress, I'm not surprised. If I was you, I'd hate to be caught. Can you at least tell me where to find Big Sally? Oh, sure, big boy. <laughs> big boy? <laughs> it cracks me up. Well? Well, what? Where is she? Oh, I'm Big Sally. You should have said. I've been told to come and ask you for one of your specials. Uh, a special? Um, yeah, that's right. I don't think I'm looking forward to it. All right, you go and get the milk, the egg and the flour, and I'll go and look for a really big bowl. Why is it I feel somewhat puzzled about that reply? I always talk about a dress. Well, in one of my previous jobs, one of the things we used to say all the time was, dress, right, dress. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure she's quite used to having a leaky nut between her, uh... Good grief! Now look, 
I don't know about this. What is that? Hmm. Oh. My word. Mm. Uh. It's a bowl of custard. Didn't you like it? A bowl of custard? That's your special, making custard? Why not? I can't imagine what assumptions you've been making. I'm a woman of many parts. My old granny used to say that good kissing only lasts five minutes, but good cookery lasts for years. Many's the man who slips in here for a bowl of custard he can't get at home. Will you stop smirking like that? Hey, it's great. Mm. 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 Better than my granny's. And now I'm going to have a bath. It's messy work making good custard. The best thing about being a wizard is that you're not allowed any, uh, you know, but you can have as much custard as you like. Yeah. Knowing full well that the cat house is in the shades. Knowing that the thief lives in the shades. Knowing uh, full well that one of the people you have to talk to, or, or the gold, two of the people you have to talk to with the golden. I was right here, in this spot right here. You still gotta talk to some guy in the palace in order to go, what, in order to go in here. Uh, I know I'm supposed to exit here somehow. Been on time at 12 minutes for this act. Okay, do, 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 do we gotta talk to the boy? The lovable street star face. <laughs> no, here's the thing is that she's clearly not wearing. Uh, bloomers, and yet what you get from her is a set of bloomers. And by bloomers, I mean the traditional long pants that you see Rincewind wear. Winston Perrin actually wearing long johns. Am I deep up? Oh, tired. About I'm alive. In the I'm now, at. what's this handshake then? It's easy. You do this, then this, then this. Just practice on those three old codgers over there. Or what's left of the three old codgers. Keep this quick. Hey, just what I wanted. That doesn't.
think I got them all. One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, ladder is still in the inventory. Now that I have all these items, time to go talk to uh, Toru. Oh, plenty of time to go through the next few. Few sections. Excellent. You're doing quite well for a soft skin. Thanks. Well, back to work. Excellent. Thanks. Well... Excellent. I look on the dragon's You're doing mouth. quite well for a soft <laughs> uh, skin. Mouth. Thanks. Face. Well X. Thanks, Will. I suppose, you know, back home to the old dimension, home comforts, put your tail up and relax. Never. Now it is time to wreak my revenge upon this miserable world. First, I shall deal with the members of the Brotherhood, and then I shall come back for you. Me? But I wasn't even a part of it. You were there? Yes, but... Don't make any plans for the evening. You know, you could just fry them up right there. Okay, I know I gotta switch out books now. Okay, I guess I gotta... I guess Nanny, Nanny Og must be in the square? See her here before. Well, I'll catch you. That doesn't. This has to be the mangiest magic carpet I've ever seen. Nice day for selling your wares. I, uh, I mean, your produce. Times are not so great, though. The bottom has fallen out of the magic balm and lotion market. Everybody wants those new age fangled thingamies, you know, crystals and the like. I don't know what's happened to the world. Where have all the old values gone? How's the cutest witch in town today? Go on, you're pulling my leg, love, so you are. How could you tell? Then again, there's no harm in hoping, is there? Ooh, give us a kiss, love. Just a little one. <laughs> oh, no thanks, I'll pass. So, you finally got your vending permit. Sure did, dearie. Wound that old patrician round me little what-a-name, so I did. What interesting and magical items do you have for the weary adventurer? Well, how about this magic carpet? Low mileage, only one owner. A little old lady who took it out once a week for a spin to the market. Look at that decor, all the trimmings. More like all the frayings by the look of it. Come on now, sweetie, do you want it or not? Well, OK then. <laughs> What's this thing? 
definitive tome of custard compoundment? How much do you want for your love potion custard recipe book? Sorry, love, I could never part with that. It's my precious, so it is. How much do you want for your... Sorry, love, I... How's the cute... Go. How could you tell? Then again, Ooh, give... Eek. Oh, oh eh. no thanks, I'll pass. Pushing's distracted. Now I get back to the... Looks like I'm just about done here with Act 2. He's done for do I am? this far. Hmm. There's a time limit. See if I can get another cutscene to happen. Greeting! Can I? There's to the or I if I'm sure the sort of thing what are you all pardon? So I'll just vows Yeah, not definitely not no oh Well I'm not gonna sit here all day waiting on this. Save That's two no traps. Fish. Famine. Have you got, uh, nine? Hmm. Well, I accuse Colonel Horseradish in the library with a lead pipe. Um, are you sure we're all playing the same game here? Damn. I've forgotten what I was going to say now. That little idiot over there's ruined my concentration. War? Is he one of yours? Him? No, that's one of Death's. You shouldn't let them run around loose like that, Death. They could breed, and then you'll never get rid of them. Want me to kill him for you? No. No point, really. Death? Have you got Mr. Bun the Baker? Not until his oven explodes next week. Oh, I see what you mean.
The secrets of forbidden config. Hmm? Look, there's that little human with the pencil hat again. War, I thought you were going to kill him. No, death wouldn't let me. Anyway, I thought he was destined to pop off his like pointy Bombers shoes about eight minutes ago. Circumstances prevented it. Circumstances? What circumstances? It has something to do with butterflies flapping their wings. I don't quite understand it myself. But I do appear to have got 21 and some spare cards. Blast! You've cleaned me out. Let's go kill some butterflies. Is it entirely possible that... What's it matter? Well, I don't have to open it to just anybody who turns up. You could be a spy. A spy? Well, it's a possibility. You could be a very clever spy wearing a very effective disguise. Open the blasted door. What's the password? All right. Lean closer. It's... Spoons. Swordfish. I'm going to go to bed right after this. Right? No. What? You didn't say Simon says. Open the door or I'll kill you. Da, ah, the other password. <sighs> Hail, brothers. Hail. 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 Yay, right. Hail. Mr. Once again, we elucidated brethren of the sword are met. Mr. Once again, we shall weave the webs of power. But if we know now that it is our destiny to rule this city. Ooh, Chucky, 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 Chucky! Hail! Yes. Once I thought it was my destiny to build a papier mache dinosaur in my bedroom. Then I thought it was my destiny to win the we men's have to go Overland Saxophone Championships. But now I know, I finally know that it is my destiny to rule. Ank Morpork! Here! What about us then? A marine company with these, my loyal lack of uh, um, loyal comrades. A new age shall dawn, my friends. Hail! An age of power and majesty. Hail! An age of freedom without indoor plumbing and the job losses it entails. Hail! A world where a man can carry out his legitimate wealth redistribution business without worrying about quotas. Hail! Where cheap replastering will be outlawed in favour of major structural reinforcement. Yay! A place where low mackerel sales will be a thing of the past. And compulsory smoke through cleanliness will be rigorously enforced. Hail! Brother Brigwit, Brother Broom, bring the tow. Now, for the spell of power, I'm gonna bring out the components of the potion, Brother Lightfinger. Yes, Brother Chuckles. Oh, I'm the dark spirits of the universe. I'm the, with this bowl, we do consecrate and, and, and so forth. Except now, these, um, these... Uh, eggs. Eggs. And this measure of corn flour. Are you sure? as we consign the potion to the flames. The boil and burn, blaze and bubble. Wait, it says here to simmer at low temperature for 15 minutes. Good grief, what the hell's going on? What exactly are we making? Have I ever told you how attractive I find you? Oh, Chucky Chucky! I have 
triumphed. Goodness overcomes evil once again. The land is liberated. The serpent is gone. The dragon is dead. The dragon is dead. I killed him. Me. I shall humbly submit to whatever fabulous rewards you feel I deserve. Dragon? Don't be ridiculous. Dragons don't exist. What? Quite so. And since no one believes in them, we can hardly reward you for disposing of one. Next! Hey! Here, wait a minute. I slew a dragon. A real, bona fide, verifiable dragon. They don't exist. Yes, they do. No, they don't. 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 Yes, they do. Do, 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 do. No, they don't. They do. They exist if you believe in them. Ah, but no one believes in them. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Yes, they do. No, they don't. Excuse me. Thank you so very, very much. They do. No, they don't. They do, they do, they do! Dragons, you know, huge, vile, evil, stenchful, slavering... Hello again. Oh, well, when I say believe, of course, I meant mm, had heard rumors, unsubstantiated. Yes, well, now I'm back. There's a few matters to attend to. Ah, oh, sorry about the, uh, the slavery thing. A bit uncalled for, really. Yes, I'll deal with you later. You summoned it, you get rid of it. Well, here we go again. <laughs> yeah, it's your fault, Wimps, when I know you had to use to keep your mouth shut. Act three. I'll save this one different. I want to see You're all guards. Can... Custodians of the law gods help us. What do you think makes a hero? Well, a true hero doesn't know he's a hero, does he? I mean, it's all... Relative. How do you mean relative? It's like, maybe, you ought to get a relative to fight the dragon. Oh, that's clever. I wish I'd thought of that. Ah, you've got to be at least a corporal to have tactical ideas like that. Oh, good grief. Look, all yeah. I want to know is... Have you got spare relatives, sir? Well, I have an aunt. There you are, then. Case closed. She's nearly 80. Better than wasting a younger person, then? Yeah. Cost the dragon will eat anyone. Right. Right. Look, we're getting sidetracked. How can I tell if someone's a proper hero? Well, a hero always knows what to do next. Does she? Who? His aunt. His aunt's gonna fight the dragon? Let's hear it for a brave old lady. Shut up about my aunt. My aunt's not fighting the dragon. I need a proper hero. You said your aunt was a hero. Didn't he say that? Corporal Nobbs, he said his aunt was a hero. I heard him. Oh, I'd be proud of her if I was him. Look, let's not start that again. How do you actually recognise a hero? They've got a birthmark. It means they're a king or what's name. All heroes do. That's what makes them heroes. Has your aunt got one? Have you ever Has asked? Not? How often do you write to her these days? What do you brave soldiers... Brave soldiers... ...know about dragon slaying? I mean, what kind of chance would someone like me have against a dragon? Listen, mate, the odds of killing a dragon must be a million to one. You'd have to be a hero. So what are the odds of someone like me finding everything a hero has to have? What? Forget it, mate. The odds of you finding all that stuff would be... A million to one? Yeah, that's it. Okay. If you have something different to save this game... Call this Act Three. I want to go back and restart the YouTube one and see if I can get all those cutscenes to happen. 